Hello mga kamathmates! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the post notification bell right over there. Welcome to another episode of Challenging, Exciting, Fun, and Interesting Math Lessons. This is Sir Oliver, your cool math teacher for today. Our topic is all about What you will learn today, apply the mathematical concepts in solving the fundamental operations on integers, and show mastery in performing multiplication and division of integers. So let's get started. So let's start with multiplication of integers. So there are four cases to consider in multiplying integers. So try to study the table below. So as you have seen, we have four columns table here and we have four cases to consider. So when we multiply, uh, for example, the multiplicand is positive and the multiplier is positive, the product which is answered in multiplication will be positive. For case 2, kapag parehas sa negative yung multiplicand and multiplier, the, the sign of the product is positive. Case 3, if the multiplicand is positive and the multiplier is negative, the sign is negative. And fourth case, if the multiplicand is negative and the multiplier is positive, the product is negative. So the sign in multiplication and division of integers are very important. So that's why we need to consider such cases or conditions depending on the sign of the given numbers. Uh, the numbers being multiplied. So the four cases in multiplying integers can be summarized in two conditions. So for condition one, if the signs of the two numbers are the same, the product is always a positive number. Let me say, both numbers are positive, the answer is positive. Both numbers that we are going to multiply is uh, negative, then the product is Positive. So, that is for condition 1. So, kapag pares daw ng sign, yung numbers na multiply, ang sign daw ay positive. While in condition 2, if the signs of the two numbers are different, the product is always a negative number. Example, positive times negative is negative. Or, negative times positive equals to negative. So, we need to remember the two conditions being stated, kapag parehas ng sign, positive. Kapag magkaiba ng sign, negative. So, let's try this. Find the product of 5 and 9. So, definitely, the answer is positive 45. So, we just multiply 5 by 9. Next, 10 and negative 5. So, one is positive, the other one is negative. So, the answer is negative 50. Third example, negative 8 and positive 9. When we multiply, the answer is negative 72. Fourth example, negative 12 and negative 5. So, mababansin, same negative. So, the answer is positive 60. So, let's try another example. Let me say we are going to multiply three or more integers having different signs. But for our fifth example, let me say all the numbers were positive. So, we're going to multiply the first two integers. So, 6 times 4 is 24. Then, yung 5 ay ibibring down natin. Imumultiply natin yung product ng 6 and 4 doon sa 5. Para makuha natin yung final answer. So, 24 times 5 is positive 120. Okay, 6 example. Okay, let me say, negative 4 times negative 3 times negative 5 times negative 2 times negative 6. So, the first thing we should do is to multiply the first two integers. So, negative 4 times negative 3 is positive 12. Then, we're going to multiply the third and the fourth integers. Negative 5 times negative 2 is positive 10. Ngayon, yung product ng dalawa ay multiply natin. So, 12 times 10, that is 120. 
Ngayon, yung natitirang number ay imumultiply natin sa 120 which is negative 6 to get our final answer. So, 120 times negative 6 is negative 720. So, that will be our final answer when we multiply the 5 given integers which are all negative. Okay, so how about our next example? So, negative 8 times positive 2 times negative 5 times positive 4. Again, multiply the first two integers which are negative 8 and 2. The answer is negative 16. And then multiply negative 5 and 4. The answer is negative 20. And then multiply natin yung dalawang product para makuha yung final answer. Negative 16 times negative 20 is positive 320. So, that's the end of our discussion regarding the multiplication of integers. Just remember the two cases that we have, the case 1 and the case 2. So, yun lang yung kaibahan na pagmumultiply ng integers. So, we need to consider the sign. So, that's very important whether it is positive or negative. So, let's move to division of integers. It says here that division is the inverse operation of multiplication. Sabihin, kabalik na daw siya ng multiplication. Kaya naman, it can be explained using rules in multiplication of integers. So, it's just the same with the given cases or conditions. Kaya lang, the, perform, uh, the operation involved here is division. So, we need to divide. Condition 1. If the signs of the two numbers are the same, the quotient is always a positive number. Kapag daw divide natin yung dalubang numbers na parehas ng sign, ang answer ay positive. And that is our condition 1. Where in positive divided by positive, the answer is positive. Negative divided by negative, the answer is positive. So, for condition 2, if the signs of two numbers are different, the quotient is always a negative number. So, just like the multiplication, so dito naman, when we divide two numbers or two integers having different sign, the quotient is negative. So, positive divide negative is negative, at yung kabalik na rin niya rin na negative and positive. So, now, find the quotient. So, basically, 30 divided by 6 is equal to positive 5. Next, negative 100 divided by negative 10. The answer is... Positive 10. Number 3. Negative 32 divided by positive 2. The answer is... Negative 16. And for our last example, 400 divided by negative 5. The answer is negative 80. So, that concludes our discussion about of, uh, operation of integers, multiplication, and division of integers. So, as what I've told you, you need to remember the two given conditions para hindi kayo magkamali sa sign whether your product or quotient is positive or negative number. So, now, I want you to get your pen and paper and do this practice test so multiply or divide as indicated and then the answer key will be provided at the end of this video so good luck and happy learning
So that's all for our video. I hope that you learned something. In learning mathematics, two important things that you need to remember, focus and practice. See you on my next video. Thanks for watching.